Hello everyone, welcome back to Art Trek's YouTube channel. My name is Miss Jess and today's lesson is Beautiful Brook. I'll be going over two samples in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. I'll start simple and then we'll do a more advanced version. All right, remember to press lightly. We're gonna begin by sketching a big rectangle in the lower half of the page. Because we're gonna be stacking a lot of rectangles that keep getting smaller, you want this first one to be big so that you're not squeezing in the details for the top of the towers. Then break up this rectangle into thirds by drawing two vertical lines. You can see here, I kinda of like to use my fingers to measure. Now draw a horizontal line to break it all in half. So now we're gonna start building the towers on the left and right by stacking rectangles, squares, and domes that get slightly smaller as they go up. Try to keep it symmetrical. Check as you go to make sure that your architectural design is structurally sound. Don't stress too much about making yours look just like the reference images. Just draw what you need and where you need it to make yours your own. Okay, now we're ready to start adding some details. You can fill in each section with a framed or arched doorway, windows, bells and ornaments, and even crosses. If you keep watching this video, you can see a closer look at more details too. Now trace it all with a black marker, pen, or sharpie. Okay, now for the more advanced version, and then we'll paint both of them. Alright, the first part of this drawing is just like the last one. Start with a big rectangle that's split into thirds vertically and half horizontally. I'm also going to go ahead and draw a vertical line on the left and right side to show where the center of the towers are going to be placed. Then I'll just turn these into a big rectangular shape. You can always adjust your drawing as you go, like I'm doing here. I think it needed to be a little wider. Um, one easy way you can add some dimension to your drawing is by just adding these three parallel lines with these opposing arrows at the top and bottom. So one way to add a lot of detail comes by simply just adding parallel lines next to each other or um, turning lines into shapes. Kind of like what I'm doing here. It's almost like the molding you would see in your house. Okay, continue refining your drawing, making sure the shapes are smaller as they go up. And again, don't stress about copying a reference image exactly how it looks. Just use it as an inspiration and make your own drawing work and have fun. I draw the robed figures by just drawing a circle for the head, an oval for the arms, and a long triangle for the robes. And the bells, I just draw a really skinny oval and kind of a circle on top of that. A lot of the detail is supposed to look out of focus, and remember the main focus here is the building, the actual building, so don't worry about the tiny details too much. Once you're done with your sketch, just trace over everything with a black pen or marker. 
and then add the horizon line and then you're ready to color it in. You can color it in however you want, markers, crayons, color pencils. Here I'm going to use watercolor pencils and I'll show you a little demonstration. If you're using watercolor pencils, just use them how you normally would regular color pencils. I encourage you to blend some to expand your color palette, but just color it all in and then you blend it all together using water and a brush. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Great job today, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.